Hey guys, what's going on? It's Envy here. Uh, just felt the need to make this video just because uh, some people are saying that the uh, window for Ellen, being able to view Comet Ellen and uh, the window closed in June 5th or 6th. So, you know, I the only real person on the internet that's accessible and has a lot of images is the Perfect Minds, Francis. So I sent him a PM on um, <clears throat> on YouTube, and I asked him for uh, you know some. He's got a lot of images, a lot of videos. So I you know I told him to give me a few, just you know spaced out, going back. And I told him what I was doing, trying to make a video. So he sent me uh, all this information right here, and uh, you know, it's a couple months worth of uh, information. You know, it starts here, July eighth, two thousand eleven. And the most current, you know, he spaced it out, is, uh, you know, just last week, August 26, 2011. <clears throat> and I also had him provide me, you know, he has he even put in the filter he uses and the declination uh, on the images snapped. And I can provide all this. I'm going to post all the links to this video in the description. And what he uses is this right here. The... Uh, The um, the grass network. This is what he uses. The global rent a scope network. They have three locations. You pay to rent money. You pay to you pay to get rent to rent a scope for an hour at a time or longer. Um, it's a pretty well known site. They have multiple telescopes as you see. And those three locations. And here's those three locations. You got New Mexico, um, you got Spain, and you got Australia. And the um, what he uses here in this this first video here on July 9th is the uh, the Grass Four right here, and that's in Mayhill, New Mexico. Okay, let me come down here and show you. That's the scope right here in New Mexico, May Hill, New Mexico. It's north 32 degrees 54, west 105 degrees 31, elevation 2,225 meters. So what I did is I came over here to see if you know did the window really close on viewing Ellen in? Because it, it, I'm hearing it closed you know June 5th or 6th so here we are on Solarium I plugged in Comet Ellen in okay and let's see our location right the exact location 32 degrees 54 west 105 degrees 31 right here in Mayhill New Mexico and that's exactly where that scope was that he was using to view Comet Ellen, <clears throat> as you see here, July 9th. Right here, July 9th. Even to the 11th, some of these images are. Okay, let's go back to Stellarium. Let's see if we can actually see that. And there goes the sun right here. Let's go forward. The sun's setting. Let's bring it back a little bit more. Now, see the sun going down, and there you go. There's Ellen. There it is, basically in a nighttime sky. Look, it's it's dark. Nighttime. There's the date. Comet Ellen in right there it's, it's still viewable there it is so um, let's back out you know, it's viewable for a while watch the time those are minutes right there
still viewable. Over an hour already. You know, depending on how low that telescope can can slew, which means how low it can go on horizon, which is probably about about there. You know, you're still talking almost two hours. All right, so let's go back over here. Let's go to another set of images. You know, and I'm not trying to stick up for anybody. I'm just trying to uh, speak the truth here. I just want, you know, I just want to explain what's really going on, you know. Because the window didn't close June 5th or 6th, whatever's being put out there. Okay, let's look here. Um, 2011, July July 18th. Okay. Grass 4. See it? Right there, Grass 4. It's the same location, same scope. Let's go to July 18th. Okay, July 18th. There goes the sun going down. Here's the date. Show you the location again. There's the location, latitude, longitude. Mayhill, New Mexico. Mayhill, New Mexico, right there. Watch the sun go down. You see Ellen's way up there. The sun's already going down, so you know that's going to be viewable still. Watch. We got to go down. Sun's, sun's down. Sun, with the sun being down, that means we're able to view this comet with that low magnitude. It's actually high, but it's hard to see, I should say. But there she is in the nighttime sky. Ellen, right there. Watch and see it. You can see it going down, following the sun down. There's your date. Back, back out. There it is pretty much following the sun and Regulus down so it, it is still viewable <laughs> July 19th the window didn't close June 5th or 6th that's not true this is proof right here let's go to another one alright this is someone uh, this is another someone one. actually is going to tell me that I couldn't take a good picture of Comet Elenin because it's too low on the horizon oops sorry I kicked that I this is just, I'm happier than I could imagine when I layered these three together. And I'm telling you that that is Comet Elenin right there. And that's from August 26th. And there's nothing special about it. It's not breaking up. I'm really just pretty much excited because of taking the three. Um, I do the low on the horizon. Oops, sorry, I kicked that. And this Wednesday, you need to come to freedomslips.com and look, something is up. Something is definitely up. There it is. This is the, the cayenne. We can target it up. What do we get? What are we looking at? We're looking at the nucleus of the comet. And someone uh, someone actually is going to tell me that I couldn't take a good picture of Comet Elenin because it's too low on the horizon. Oops, sorry, I kicked that. I. This is just... All right, so now we're looking at August... 26. So let's go over here, Solarium, and we'll put in, go forward, all the way to August 26th. I got to change the location once I get to August 26th. Here we come at August 26th, okay. Now that location is from the Grass 9, which is in Victoria, Australia. So I'll change the location. <clears throat> Let's go to Australia. There it is, Australia. We'll go down to Victoria.
Sorry, you got a barrel at me. There's a lot of cities in here. Victoria, Australia. As you see, there's a lot of, uh, here we go, Victoria, Australia. We'll plug that in right there at the southern tip of Australia. We got Victoria, Australia. And let's just confirm latitude, south 38, 54, longitude, east 150, 145, 22. So let's go over here to Grass Network and make sure that's, you know, is that where, where that is? Okay, here we are. Yep, 3803, 145, you know, give or take or a fraction, but, and that's, uh, you know, around 73 meters. So let's go back to Solarium. Okay, so now we're in Australia, so. Now we need to find Ellen in here. Thought I was over there, okay. August 26th, we gotta go back to the sunset. <clears throat> okay. We are in Victoria, Australia. Sorry, when you go now we're in the southern hemisphere with us being in australia so everything's a little opposite so that's why it was taking me a minute sorry about that and there she is the sun's going down there's saturn there's constellation virgo over here as you see the sun's going down it's getting dark nighttime sky Common element right here from where Francis viewed it. It's still viewable. Look at it, it's dark. Look at the time. Six six o'clock local time. Victoria, Australia. Still viewable. Look, there's a comet in the sky. It's not the window didn't close. The window's open. You can see the window open right here. The sun's down here. This is another location. I mean, for anybody to say that the window closed, it's just I don't know. I don't know what if they they don't have they don't have Stellarium or any kind of uh, sky program. But I just felt the need to make this video. I'm not trying to prove uh, any points, but just people need to know what's just really going on, and that that's Comet Ellen right there. That's what we're seeing right there. Right there. In here, we're seeing it. You know, I just uh, felt the need to show that to everybody. And everything's right here. Just shows what we're looking at. Longitude and latitude. And I showed you the times right there in Stellarium. Location, time, and the window. Did not close June 5th or 6th. 